Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we are doing a mean, median, mode, and range problems to worksheet from MassSalamanders.com. MassSalamanders has tons of great worksheets if you want to check those out in the link in the description below. Also, I have a tons of videos for Mass Salamanders if you guys want to check out that playlist. But let's get into this worksheet. But before we do, we have to understand what is mean, median, mode, and range before getting into these problems. So a quick summary if you guys want to just pause this, write this down, take notes, whatever you want, or fast forward if you already know it. The mean is the sum divided by the count. So we're going to add up the numbers, then divide it by how many numbers we have, by the number of data points. The median, we're gonna put them in order first, least to greatest, or honestly, it doesn't matter, uh, greatest to least, but in order, and then we're gonna find the middle of those numbers, two-step process for that one. The mode is the most frequent number, and then the range is the max minus the min. That will tell you kind of how many units the data set spans, okay? So that's the range. So let's go ahead and get into our first problem. In a times table test, a group of nine children score 25, 17, 21, 25, 23, 21, 27, 21, and 18 out of a total of 30. Find their mean, median, mode, and range. So one of the things you'll need to know, these three you can do without a calculator all the time. So those are pretty easy. You can usually uh, make those calculations in your head. Um, or you don't even need to really make calculations, but the mean you may need a calculator for, so just as a as a heads up. So let's just go ahead and start left to right. We'll start with our mean. So our mean, I'm gonna use purple for, and again, I need to find the sum of these numbers. So that's my first step, is I need to find the sum. So we have nine scores here, so I'm just gonna take all nine of these scores and I am going to add them together. So I need to go ahead and do that real quick. 25 plus 17 plus 21 plus 25 plus 23 plus 21 plus 27 plus 21 again and then plus 18 and that should give me 198. Now I'm going to divide that by 9 and I should get 22. So I take my sum that was 198. Okay, my count was nine. Just wanted to show these calculations. And I do 198 divided by nine, and I get 22. So our mean is 22. And these are these are the scores, okay? So we don't have a unit of scores, so it's 22 out of 30. We could calculate that percent if we wanted to, but we're just looking for the score. Now, the median. So what, what do we need to do with the median? I'm just going to remember blue. Blue is my color for median. So what we need to do for median, and this might be a good idea no matter what you're doing, is always put it in order. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write out these numbers in order. So I'm going to put 17, and then we're cross it out. Then we're at 18. I'm going to cross it out. My next highest looks like 21. I have one, two, three of those. Two, three of those. Next highest is 23. Then 25, and it looks like I have two 25s, and then 27 is my biggest number. So let's just double check. That's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I do have nine. So, like I said, our two-step process is one, put them in order, done. Two, we're gonna find the middle. So one thing I like to do when finding the middle, you can't, I can't demonstrate with this, but I take one finger, I put on the lowest number, one finger, put on the biggest number, and I kind of work my way in until I arrive at the middle. Another thing you can do is you can just take turns left to right. There's one, that's two, three, four, and then my arrive at my middle number, which is 21. So 21 is my median. That's my median score is 21 out of 30. The mode, this one is the easiest, I think. The mode, what was my color? I think it was green. Okay, so green is my mode. You just find the most common number, the one that appears the most. So 21 appears three times. That's the most. Therefore, 21 is my mode. So 21 is the mode. And the range. We threw out some lingo earlier with the range, the max and the min. So the max is just the biggest number. In this case, it's 27. That's going to be over here on the right. All right, our min is the smallest number, 17. So to find the range, we do 27 minus 17, and that's going to give us 10. So that means the data sp spans 10 units, okay? And that's it. That's how you find all four our, yeah, all four of those um, measures of central tendency. Now let's go ahead and move on to number two. So the salamanders, I don't know if you guys have seen the salamanders. 
There's one right there, but uh, they all have different names. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different types, maybe even more. I think there's more. The salamanders have a competition to see how far they can jump. The results are as follows. So the captain, Sally, Quadra, Tiger, Frazier, and Quadra. So those are the six data points that we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Find the mean, median, mode, and range of their jumps. So let's go ahead and start left to right. We're going to start with the mean. The mean is first. We need to find the sum of these numbers. So we're going to add up all these numbers together. Okay. So we're going to go 2.3 plus 3.5 plus 1.7 plus 4.3 plus 2.1 plus 1.7. So when I get my sum, I get 15.6. My count, I believe, is six. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. There's six salamanders that do uh, some jumping. And so I just need 15.6 divided by six now. So I get 15.6 divided by six. And I get, for my answer, 2.6. So my mean is 2.6. That's the distance. But I need the uh, units, which are meters. So 2.6 meters after doing... 15.6 divided by 6. My median, I need to put them in order for my median. So my uh, median, I'm going to put them in order. I have two 1.7s. And I, I, I like to start uh, smallest to biggest, just as an FYI. FYI. So I have 2.1, 2.3. Uh, then I have 3.5. That takes me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 4.3 is my last one. So I wanted to bring up an important point here. If you were to follow the process of so going left to right, so we have left, right, left, right. Notice how I land on two. There's no middle between these. So what do you do in that situation? What you do is you're going to take these numbers and you're going to try to find the middle between them. You're going to find the mean of those two numbers. So if you're finding the mean between two numbers, you just need to add these two together and then divide by two. And that's how you find the middle between 2.1 and 2.3. So 2.1 plus 2.3 in our top, that would give us 4.4. And then we divide that by 2, and we get 2.2 as our median. I know what you're thinking. Hey, there is no 2.2 on here. All these numbers are not 2.2. Not a single one of them is. That's okay. For our median, if it's not uh, demonstrated and there's an even number, you're going to get um, many times a number that is not listed, okay? So 2.2 is in fact our median here. I was supposed to be using blue though. Let me make that correction. 2.2. Okay, so that's our median. Mode. Let's go ahead and take a look at mode. This one's the easiest, I think. Let me move this over. It's kind of in mode territory. Move it over to the median. So the mode, we have 1, 2, 1 1.7s, and then no other numbers that appear more than once. So our mode's going to be pretty straightforward. It's going to be 1.7. In our range, we're going to take our max, that's our biggest number, divided, not divided, subtracted by our min. That was a rough three. Here we go. Minus 1.7. So minus 1.7. 1.7 was our lowest number. And we get, what is that, 2.6? 2.6. So that is our range. It goes 2.6 from the smallest up to the biggest, which is 4.3. We have one last question. On a day in January, the temperatures for seven places around the world are as follows. Okay, this is kind of cool. We get some information about temperatures in Celsius. And this says find the mean, median, mode, and range of the temperatures. You guys know the drill. First thing, we're going to do the median. Actually, I've been doing the mean, but I'm going to do the median this time. The reason why is I want to put them in order. I want to put them in order right away. I always think that's a good strategy. I think it helps you stay organized. So uh, you may think that five is the smallest, but it's not. The smallest here is negative 21. So I'm going to put negative 21 here. That is cold. Then I'm going to put negative 17 twice. Negative 17 goes twice. Uh, then we have negative 6. That's our next coldest, negative 6. Then we have 5. This is pretty cold. This must be in winter. There's no way this is during the summer. Uh, Hong Kong, 15. Cool temperatures. And then Cape Town, we have 20. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 total units. Okay, that's good. Now, that, when anytime you have an odd number, that means you're going to land on a middle. So that's good. So we have one left, right, left, right. That's two. 
there's three. So our median is negative six degrees Celsius. Okay, degrees Celsius. And again, I'm doing median first just to have it organized. I think that's helpful. Okay, I know that I did that something different for the first two, but my suggestion would be do median first. Now I'm gonna do the mean. I'm gonna add these all up. Okay, and then divide by, well, we'll get to that in a second. So our sum, we need to add these. And you need to add these negatives. So type it in just like you see on your calculator. So negative 17 plus negative 17 plus negative 6 plus 5 plus 15 and plus 20. All right, when I do that, I get for some negative 21. And I just need to double check that. Yes, that negative 21. But I need to divide by 7. Okay, so I do negative 21 divided by 7, and I get negative 3 degrees Celsius. So negative 3 degrees Celsius is my mean temperature. Now, mode, that's the one we see the most. Okay, mode, think most, M-O, M-O. And we see negative 17 degrees twice. Mode is always the easiest, nice and fast. So negative 17 degrees Celsius. And then the range, we need to take our biggest minus our smallest. So our biggest, as we can see on the right, is 20. And I'm going to subtract our lowest, but it's a negative. And if you subtract a negative, it's actually going to become a positive. So I have 20 minus a negative 21. And that adds it, and I get 41 degrees Celsius. That's the range of temperatures, 41 degrees. The, the max temperature is 41 degrees warmer than the cold temperature. Okay, so that's a little context. So this was an interesting data set. You can see that the mean, median, and mode all tell us very different things. Measures of center are very cool because it represents different ways to see the tendency in data. And I would kind of tend to side with the median here. I think that kind of splits the difference a little bit better, but you can make a case for any of these. So that's all we have time for in this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment if you have any questions in this video or any other mathematical content. I can make a video for you if you need. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.